show you a little bit I learned about the box making gadget in Vectric. Uh, the first thing you do, of course, is you go up here and you do your your new file settings, and we'll just say no for that. We're going to set a new file at. Uh, I'm going to be using plywood that's quarter inch thick and it's 24 by 24. Basically, I just take a 4 by 8 sheet and I cut it in the 24 inch slices and that way it fits underneath my CNC just fine. And I'll cut eight, two or three sheets at a time and just keep it stocked that way. So uh, basically, when I do boxes, I've built probably 50, 60 boxes now. But anyway, uh, set your width for the size of your material, 24 inches. Your height is 96 inches because you put all your sides together. It could get up to 96 inches on a on an eight foot uh, uh, four pieces. And of course, your material thickness is very important, a uh, quarter of an inch. Uh, this is very. This has to be just exactly right. Otherwise, your joints, box joints, won't fit properly. Of course, you use the datum on the left corner, and we'll get on into this. Okay. The first thing you do is you want to figure out what your box is going to do. You go to your box creator. And um, let's just use this example right here that we've got a box 22 inches wide, 18 inches deep, and height is 8.5 inches. And, you know, you can look over here to, to these. This is pretty straightforward and pretty simple. And, uh, you know, that helps you there. Your joint width, we're just going to say they're one inch. And your allowance, something that I've kind of learned is point, uh, zero 0.01. And I was putting point zero zero six, but point zero 0.01 gives you room for glue and that makes these joints where they just they just fit together no fuss no fighting them got room for your glue and it works out pretty good we're going to make a lid we're going to make all these parts select our tool which is an end mill and uh we're just going to leave that one select that and let that go we're going to use square tabs and we're going to use the tab lid this is going to create a, a box uh, joint you know that's got all all six sides together and uh, so that'll be a complete thing then we'll go down here click ok and then it basically creates these uh, units here and uh, you, there's your bottom your two sides your two ends and then your other your top uh, what's really unique about this is my machine is only 24 inches by 30 inches so i can't cut an eight foot piece but nice thing about uh, the the uh, vetric is it has this tiling function and we're going to go ahead and tell it to tile this and we're going to make it into uh, 24 inch tiles and right now you only have one tile shown here so this whole sheet is one tile we're going to update the tiles and it's going to give us four tiles the problem with the box joint jig is if you try to split these joints right here across two two tiles like this one will not this one won't this one turn out fine this one will be messed up that one would be fine. That one would be fine. This one would be messed up because the joints are across the tiles. And unless you're perfect, perfect, I mean, a thousand percent on, it just won't fit right. So the best thing you can do is to take your machine and copy your stuff and play a game of Tetris, move them up so that the joints are across uh, that. And in this case, all I'm doing is just highlighting them and using my arrow keys and getting them up onto the various tiles and you can you can uh, save room on them by having them both um, back there of course it's showing my tool path from the old the old setting let's just hide that for right now and let's go back over here and pin this other one on here and pin it okay um, let's turn off the top tool path so that you can see what I'm doing okay and then let's go back and turn on our tiling function okay put that right there and you can see where your tiles are now all your tiles are basically around each one now to save space you know I'll, I'll take and highlight them and bring them down to you know a, a little bit distance so I'm just not wasting the total piece of uh, plywood and of course I can you know get it even closer than that but uh, and my datums in the very corner of the plywood so that's my setup and uh, this way I'm, I'm using the waste and that kind of setup. Okay, so that's good. Let's look at our tile path here. And there's our old tile path. So the first thing we want to do is to look at it. And, okay, we've calculated our tool paths. We're going to look at them. And 
there's our tool pass. First thing it's going to tell you is you want to go down around it. Uh, five passes. No, if it's quarter inch plywood, we only want to go down it two two passes. It can cut eighth of an inch and two pass, passes. So we click set passes. So that we've done that. These are all default settings of this thing. Of course, on and add tabs. I don't use tabs. I, I tack mine down with nails and I take the ramps off of it. So if you don't do this, this thing will take 30 minutes to cut these boxes out. So you want to always check that and click calculate. Okay, so there's your tiles if you want to see what they look like. And on your on your view there. And your piece of wood so you know that's that okay so now we're all ready to go um, we're using most of the plywood that 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 we have it's all going to come out pretty good look at the 2d view and we're ready to go so we'll click, click close now on this uh, save tool path in this case here we're going to save the tool path and I can rename this like we could call this cut out or I could call this my box or whatever name when you click Save Tool Pass, it's going to create out type output tile tool pass. So we're just going to go up one folder here and uh, let's just make this easy. Go down to my shark, go to boxes, and we'll call this just a new folder. We're going to call it uh, Play. And then we're going to call this right in here. We're going to call the cutout right there, save it. Okay, so we're in the shark boxes play. And we're going to save that in there. So it created four tool paths in there. I'm also going to save this file in that same folder. And we're going to call this play. And I'm in a habit of saving all this in the same folder and also to save it on a thumb drive when I get ready to export it out on a thumb drive. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and look at our that folder that we just got through looking at. We're going to open that uh, file path, open file location, and there are our files. So the first one is cut out, tap one, tier two, three, and four. And what I will do often is I'll just sit there and rename this. And I'll call this one the the top. And you want to be sure that you you know don't uh, get rid of the zero or the the uh, the period because if you mess that up, that this it won't you know you just this is not a good thing. So that's your top. I'm going to rename this one, and we're going to put this one as a side. And that one we'll rename it. And I'm right clicking on it after I left click on it. And we're going to call that one the end. Hit enter so that it names it. Right click. Go ahead and rename it. And we'll call that the bottom. Okay. So there's your four tap files. There's your main file. And everything's set up. If you modify this, you'll have to come back here and, and and save those. I'll copy that to a USB drive and then take it out to the CNC machine and you're good to go. So nice thing about this is when it cuts this, none of your joints are across tiles. So if you're if you're trying to do this and you're and you're having a hard time with it, it's because you're trying to cut it across tiles and it just doesn't work that way. So um, that's my tips on it. And the other thing is whenever you glue these up, I fit them together and I just put glue across all the finger joints, lay them down on a flat table, put all the joints together and run glue right over the seams and go together. Then I use these web straps and uh, they make a great tool that way. So that's the box joint gadget for Vetric. Great program. I've made bunches and bunches of boxes. I like the customizing it and it's a great program.